What is going on, everybody? Definitely not try you. Today, we are back at it again with Marie's room. Now, we left off me trying to find the dang combination for that lock. And I have still, I have yet to still find it. Wait, what's that? Nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be me looking for that godforsaken combination this whole entire time. So, yeah, join me in the fun, shall you? Or shall we? Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Alright, um. I'm really starting to get ticked off by that clock. Hey, okay. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Time for me the code, Murray. Wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. No. Oh my freaking gosh. I'm an idiot. Three, four, Nine, five, one. What is the code, Murray? Wait, the journal. It must be in the journal. Yay. I am an idiot. Good work, Kelsey. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. My past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing um. I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Oh. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. Mm. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. Mm. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so 
annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. What How did he heck? find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything. No. And he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we mm. struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. What the? I stopped. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. What Marie didn't hell? understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, he robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. What the hell? I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't They're both listening. fucked up. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that 9 millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... I what do you think we remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet dead that we all remember well self-defense you know what the hell oh mom where are you did you get the journal i'll be down in a minute Anne marie is getting a little worked up here she threatened to smoke a cigar in your car don't let her don't let her smoke i love that car she knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down. Oh, shut up. Minute. Bring the journal. Alright, um... Wait, can we take something else? California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Oh right, car, oh, okay. 
Wait, what's this? Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Well, I do need to go to the bathroom. That was very interesting. I rather enjoyed that. This game should have been way, should like, how do I explain? Should have taken less, so much. Ah! This game should have taken much less time than what I had played, because I was searching so far in that room, so much in that room, trying to find the dang code for that combination. Yet it was just in the journal. I just had to read the gosh damn uh, red numbers. Oh well. Anyway, this is the part two of Murgy's room. And I guess I'll go ahead and like end the video. Ha! <laughs> Psych! You thought that was gonna be the end of the video? Uh uh. It's called Random Let's Plays. Not random let's play so we are going to be playing Isabel now a game by Michael Kocha music by Chris McNiff all right let's see space ooh I like the graphics on it already oh god Hold on. Um. Oh, okay. There's a book. How do I? Oh. Okay, there we go. Fourteenth day of o oops. Fourteenth day of August. The Duke of Tarnstead is due in three days, but Isabel will have nothing to do with the marriage. The Baron needs to rule his daughters as he rules his lands. If my daughters were sniffing around an accused witch, I'd take my belt to her. The Baron should learn to heed his advisor's warnings. I've never led him astray. Is that it? What's that walkie sound? Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> oh, I hate this already. I hate this already! Let's see, 17th day of August. They tried to warn him, but now it's too late. The Baron is dead. Cursed with a vile affliction, his flesh wearily boiled from his bones. Isabel claims the witch taught her a simple charm spell. But after witnessing the horrific scene, I'm sure the girl has been learning the devil's craft for quite some time. She langs at dawn, her would-have-been husband can witness her legs dangle. Meh. Quit flickering. You know I don't like that. Oh. Mr. Plank. Plank, you're coming with me. Wait, what's back there? All right, Plank, you stay right there. Come on, you don't need Johnny anymore. You're with the me now. I 
sit here. Oh, fuck. No. Plank, why didn't you stop it? All right, let's see here. Let's see. Something day of August. The girl is dead. Oh, there we go. 18th day of August. Her tears laughable. Tomorrow, once the Duke has gone, we will find the witch that apprenticed the young murderer. I must admit, watching her body sway brought me much joy. But the Baron was soft for the comfort of such things. Family? Love? Bah! That was his undoing. In the end, murdered by his own daughter. How pathetic. All right, Plank, you, you stay right there. All right, apparently not. Plank, you come with me. Wait a sec, can I pick this up? Yes. You're coming with me, Mr. Candle. Okay, now you're coming with me, Mr. Key. I'll come back for you in a little bit, Plank. Ugh. Get in there, damn you! Uh. Oh, there we go. One moment. Plank! Oh, Plank! There you are, my trusted friend. I just saw a white spot. It was scary. Hmm. I suppose let's go right again. Plank, I need you with me. What? Grim? Is it you, Grim? Hold on. I gotta read this book that's on you. 19th day of August as Bill lives. A cobbler brought me the news today. The witch cut her down and several citizens watched as her soul entered her body once again. Hadness! The town guard stays behind today to burn the wretch as I follow the hunting party into the woods after the girl. I will see to it myself that Isabel dies and stays dead. Alright. Ah! Uh, let's go. Let's go, boy. Oh. Well, you're stuck with me now, Plank. I hate this already. Oh, there's a lot of Mr. Skulls. <sighs> well, okay then. Mr. Flank, you s be nice to them. Let's see here. September? Question mark? Several days ago, no, uh, wait. Seven days ago, no. Hours, maybe. We cornered her in a cave, but something's wrong with here. The tunnel seemed to run back into the themselves. We see shadows of her dancing the walls. Some of the men, her laughter, others screams. Daniel removed his own eyes yesterday with his ration spoon. He didn't last the night. Isabel is going to kill us all. Shit. I can't pick up skulls! I can't pick up skullies! Shit! Hmm? 
this way. Oh, Mrs. Witch! Mrs. Witch! Okay. Ooh. Wait, where's my shadow? <gasps> I'm a ghost. Damn it. Well, that's, um, okay. Come on, Plank. I can't see. see something back there but then again I can't the closer I get I see what looks like a cauldron and a little uh, maybe a chair yeah a chair can I take you damn it no I can't I want to go in through here. Wait, is this... <gasps> Mr. Plank, you have friends! Alright, you stay right there, buddy. Can't see Jack Sheet. What the hell? Whoa, what? What? Okay, so I'm up against a wall. I don't know what you just said, but I don't think I like it. What the hell? Plank 2.0, you're with me. Damn it. Oh, wait a second. Wait, what? Could it be hidden somewhere? Ooh. Wait a second. Am I supposed... Gosh, damn it. I'm gonna go back and grab one of those candles. Oh, this is just one fun game. Nope, wrong space. A fucking candle will be marvelous right about now. Huh? No! Get in here! I demand it! Thank you. Okay, there's chairs, candles, skulls, cauldron. What the fuck?
All right. I don't get it. Is there a key on the ground or something? Or around here? Oh wait, is that a sleeping bag? I think that was a sleeping bag. Quit fucking laughing! I know I'm stupid, but what the fuck? Mr. Candy, you have a dead friend right there. Get it? Am I? Wait a second. There you fucking are, you little shit. Blink, you're with me. I don't like this. Fuck! Mr. Candle. I'll always have you. something up here mm. stop with the calling thank you you stay right there in the meantime I pause this and now I return Mr. Chair, I can't pick you up, so I'm afraid you can't come with me. Oh, hello. Mr. Key. A lot of keys. What's that? Just discoloration in the rock. Oh, that right there. Okay. Can I just pick you up too, please? Fine. Well, now I can't see. There we go, just drop it right there. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Candle. I'm going to have to leave you there. I hate this game already. I've had to abandon so many friends. I forget where I put Mr. Plank. Normally he's right here.
but no more. It's a sad, sad day. But definitely not Trey. Ooh, light. I like light. Unless it's just gonna completely... Hold on. What? Isabel, Isabel, Isabel. Don't... Something around. Don't turn around. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it, yellow. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? No, 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 no! 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 Ah! Fuck this game!